A flavored tobacco ban that was just days from going into effect in Multnomah County has been put on pause. The Oregon Court of Appeals has temporarily halted enforcement of the ordinance, which was set to take effect on January 1st. Fox 12's Chandler Watkins reached out to the smoke shops to learn what this means for them. She joins us now live from Southeast Portland with the details. Chandler? Yeah, this ordinance would have prohibited the sale of flavored tobacco and nicotine products in the county. Business owners and managers we spoke to on and off camera say they're happy with the most recent development. What was your reaction you heard about the temporary stay? Oh, took a lot of weight off my shoulders, you know, because I couldn't figure out what we were going to do next week with all this product. Sheila LaPlante is a manager at Vape Lounge at Tobacco Land off Northeast Sandy in Portland. She and other smoke shop managers we spoke to say they were happy to hear the Oregon Court of Appeals has temporarily halted Multnomah County's ban on the sale of flavored tobacco and nicotine products. It was said to be enforced starting January 1st. Vape is 99% of our revenue. The ordinance was passed by the county in December 2022, with commissioners hoping to deter young people from smoking and vaping. In the court order, concerns were cited from tobacco and vaping interests that the ban would force businesses to permanently close. It it wasn't going to solve a problem. Find a way to take care of the youth other than close a over 21 vape store down. LaPlante says kids need to be protected, but a sweeping ban is not the answer. I don't want any of the kids out on the street corner buying juice from somebody out of the back of their car or buying disposable vapes out of the back of their car that you have no idea where they come from. I just want to keep the shops open people working and our kids protected. That can be done without banning. We reached out to Multnomah County. We were told that they wouldn't be commenting further than a statement they released this afternoon saying that the ordinance will be going into effect on Monday, but it will not be enforced for now. Reporting in Southeast Portland, Chandler Watkins, Fox 12 Oregon.